<laughs> hey there, Rezo faction. What? That is crazy. Watch the podcast. I'm just not sure about that right now. We're going to talk a little football. Let's get it, baby. Welcome, everybody, back to the Red Zone Faction. For today's edition, we're going to be doing the AFC East. I'm your host, Scott Wilson. We're going to get started with the New England Patriots. All right, first up on the docket, we've got the New England Patriots. They had a mediocre draft because they didn't really have any need this year. They did what they needed to do in free agency and... Didn't really need a whole lot in the draft. They took two defensive ends, two offensive tackles. This was going to be really quick because there's really nothing to talk about. The New England Patriots get a C from me. Their first pick was the 83. They took Derek Rivers, defensive end from Youngstown Town State. They, I mean, when that's your first pick, you really had nothing to do. I mean, they got Cooks in the offseason, wide receiver from, at, from uh, that trade with New Orleans. Uh, they got uh, Ely. They, there was nothing the Patriots needed to do in this draft. They just reloaded. Um, so some of these players may work out, some may not. If the, if it doesn't, then it's fine. The, the the Patriots are what they are. They're the top dogs, and uh, they were they were returning so many players from last year's team. There was not a whole lot left to do. So I started off with them because it's the, really the the one I really have nothing much to say about. Like I said, there was really no draft for the New England Patriots. They didn't have to. Anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and move right along with an exciting team in this division. I thought I had a great draft. Be right back with the New York Jets. All right, we're back with the New York Jets. I tell you what, man, love their draft. I gave right off the top, I'll go ahead and tell you, I gave the New York Jets an A for their draft. Jets had a great draft uh, right off the top. SEC, SEC, SEC. Jamal Adams in the first round, the safety from LSU. Second round, Marcus May, safety from Florida. Third round, wide receiver, Darius Stewart from Alabama. Absolutely love their draft. Uh, SEC, SEC, SEC. I just thought it was fantastic. I'm a SEC homer. This is an SEC channel. This is this is where the SEC lives, right here, and I'm biased as all get out. Yes, the, the Jets blew me away with their draft. Are they going to the playoffs this year? I seriously doubt they still don't have a quarterback. But uh, we'll see what happens with them. I'm super excited about these draft picks for them. Uh, this is definitely a step in the right direction. I'm not ready to put the Jets in the playoffs. I still think they're gonna, they're probably going to finish last in this division. These draft picks, I think, set them in the right direction. They even got uh, the Jordan Leggett dude, the tight end, out of Clemson. I thought that was a solid pick. There's an ACC guy. All of their draft picks, I thought, were steps in the right direction. They will definitely contribute this year. And uh, I look forward to them taking a good step forward. Uh, maybe next year they'll get their quarterback in the draft. But other than that, New York gets an A for me. And they didn't reach on a quarterback, which I thought was uh, very uh, – and the same thing with Cleveland. Like those two teams, they always seem to reach, 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 reach. They didn't reach this year. They didn't have to. They, uh, they, they stuck to their board. They got what they needed. And they can get their quarterback next year. If he's there. So good for them. Good draft, New York. And uh, that's it for them. We're going to move on to the Buffalo Bills. We're on to the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills had a good draft. I gave them a B. Uh, with the 27th pick in the first round, they took Tredavious White, which I thought was a great pick. He was a corner from LSU. I thought he, he's going to step right in day one. He's going to contribute from the beginning. The second pick, 37th overall, they took Zay Jones, which is somebody I was looking for for Philadelphia. I really thought he was a really one of the best wide receivers in this draft, so great picking him up from ECU. Uh, I really, really, really thought the Bills had a good draft. They waited, waited, waited. 171, they took Nathan Peterman, quarterback from, from Pittsburgh. Not somebody I think that's going to, you know, immediate playing time or anything because I think they're actually fine with Tyrod Taylor. I think that uh, they – they're fully content with going in him. I think uh, Coach McDermott's gonna, you know, let his offense roll. He got him. A, he got him a playmaker with Zay Jones. But I, I really look for Buffalo to be in a better position now. I really like McDermott. He used to coach at Philadelphia. Coach in Philadelphia. He was a student under Jimmy Johnson's defense in Philadelphia. Done well in Carolina. I really think he's going to do a good job in Buffalo. But I think White will replace Gilmore. Gilmore left to go to New England in free agency. 
and I think White just replaces him, and it could be an upgrade for all we know. Gilmore was good, but I think White White could be better. I mean, we'll see. A lot of the Bills staff was fired after the draft was over, and I don't understand why, because like I said, I gave them a B. I thought they had a good draft. I don't know what happened in Buffalo, but I am curious to know. So maybe that'll all come out eventually. If it hadn't already, let me know. I just... uh I don't understand why all these people got fired from Buffalo. Good draft. We're on to the Miami Dolphins. Last up on the docket for the AFC East, we're going to talk about the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins get a B from me. With the 22nd pick, they took Charles Harris, which I think was as much needed deal. They needed some pass rush uh, off the edge, and they got defensive end from Missouri, Charles Harris. I think that was a great pick for them. Uh, they didn't stop there. They went and got Raquan McMillan, linebacker from Ohio State, behind him. I thought that was another solid pick. Uh, and then Tankersley in the third, uh, the cornerback from Clemson. I thought that was – they had three – their first three picks were all defense, and they were all three levels of the defense, the line, the linebacker, and the, and the corner. I thought that was tremendous for them. That the, the, all three levels of your defense are covered in this round. I uh, really thought the Miami Dolphins had a good draft. Uh, B for me. I think all three of those players will contribute. Tankers leaves a little bit of a question mark, but uh, I still think he plays. I still think he contributes, and uh, we'll see what happens in training camp. But I uh, really thought Dolphins solid draft, B for me, uh, lots of D, and they covered. The most important thing is they covered all three levels of the defense early in this draft. All right, I think all, all four of these teams did what they needed to do during this draft. Like I said, New England didn't really have a whole lot to do. They just did what they do. They filled in. They had fill-ins. and uh, But I do think the other three teams in this uh, division did well. The Jets, the Bills, and the Dolphins all did well. I do think the Jets had the best of this division only because they SEC, SEC, SEC. Uh, yeah, I'm biased. They totally tore up the uh, the draft with SEC players, and uh, I thought that was great. I do think they'll all be immediate impact. The Jets definitely took a step forward. So, yes, they get my, my pick for best draft for this division. But like I said, pretty decent overall. Not as good as last week's South, but the East has definitely done well in this draft as well. And uh, that's going to be it for this week on the East. Next week, we'll do our final show of these analysis will be the AFC West. So tune in, and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Leave the comments down below if you like this video. Bye!